Hello, 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 and today I will be talking a bit about parent chains and how parents work with each other because I had a question under my tank rig video, which I'm going to explain here a bit further by explaining how parents work exactly. Okay, so what is a parent? A parent is basically if you take another object and say, okay, you follow this bigger object, but you can still move that sub object, but it just follows the path of the father object. Um, a very simple parent chain, for example, would be if I have this, uh, I don't know, like this joint here and I just parent the, like one part of the joint to the other part of the other joint. Um, and now I can, if I rotate this, the top part rotates with it, but I can still ro ro rotate this top part without r rotating the bottom part. You can now add a third thing to this. For example, if I would parent this um, third thing onto my other sub-object, I would create a sub-sub-object, and now I can rotate this, everything rotates, I rotate this, and only the sub-object and the sub-sub-object sub, sub rotates, and now I can just have this third one independently. But what you also can do with this is, for example, if I would parent this onto this, then if I would turn this, everything would remain the same, but I could now turn this independently and this ind independently. Like you can see, this is where you start like having parent chains, and this is why it is very important to establish your master object, or to have an object that is your master object. For example, let's unparent all of them. If we bring an, an empty into here, this is our empty, this will be our sub-master object. For example, we will use this and parent it onto this empty right here, and we will use this and parent it onto this sub-object. And now we will use this object, this empty that we just created, and we will parent it onto this sub-object here. And now what you can see is if I move this parent, this empty, the top part moves with it. If I rotate this, it rotates with it, but I can still independently rotate this and rotate this. But when I move this, the whole rig moves with it, right? And now this is where you start getting into parent chains. And this is what I mean with you have a master object, which in this case would be this uh, this bottom part right here, because if I move this, everything moves, which be, be de facto makes it our master object. Um, I have a second thing where I can show this on, which is this small contraption. For example, if we parent this onto this... Um, and circle or or rather cylinder and parent the cylinder onto this empty for example we can then move the empty everything moves we can rotate this and only the circle and the cube on top of it move and we now can move this and rotate this independently and it still would work for example what you could do is let's just set this to like 60 Auto keyframe on, rotate this, and then go to here and put it to 360. And then basically this would rotate, right? Let's change this to easing mode, manipulation uh, mode linear. And now you see it's it spins. Uh, it's annoying me that it, this is not... Okay. What we now can do, for example, is we can animate this as well. So if I would put here a keyframe into, into, into this and move it across, right? This would move across with it. And these two are, are moving independently, right? Because this down here still turns. What I can now do is can do a rotation for this too. Uh, for example, just do like I don't know, like this and then go to 60 and do this. And now it and now this also 
has an independent motion to it and everything basically moves independently, still follows each other and th that is basically what I mean when I talk about a parent hierarchy. This is establishing motion that works independently yet works off, e off each other. For example, uh, like I just said, this cube follows the motion of this cylinder and this cylinder follows the motion of this empty. Which basically if you animate makes it very easy to establish connections. This helps in mechanical rigging a lot because basically you can say okay well this is just attached to that by the basis of a parent um like for example a mechanical arm which goes forward and that mechanical arm i don't know carries a mine card on it or carries something on it that can then rotate on it but you don't have to align the position every time you want to animate something of on it because it's parent to it I hope this was a tutorial that could help you understand why parents are important and how to establish a parent hierarchy in your scene and where to place your master object. And I hope I could solve some question with this. I hope to see you next time and have a good one. Bye bye.